Hello and welcome to a video on how to unlock the Ballistic Shield. So, to unlock the Ballistic Shield you need to complete the Vanguard assignment. The requirements for this are you must have reached rank 10, you must own the Dragon's Teeth DLC and you must have played on a Dragon's Teeth map. Don't have to do the assignment on a Dragon's Teeth map but you have to have played on one before this assignment unlocks. The tasks you have to accomplish to get your Ballistic Shield are you need 5 saviour kills, 20 suppression assists and destroy 3 explosives. So those are all kind of random. Saviour kills you can't plan for, suppression assists you can't plan for, finding explosives you can't plan for. So this is all random stuff that you're just going to get through gameplay. But trust me, it's not worth it. Some of this footage you've seen before in the Bulldog videos and the MPX video. And that's because while you're getting kills for those, you're going to be getting suppression assist and saviour kills. So, what you want to look out for is saviour bonus, like it says there. You get a saviour bonus if an enemy is shooting at one of your teammates. You get an avenger bonus if he's killed one of your teammates. What you need is the saviour bonuses. And you need the suppression assists even if you get them when you're dead. Suppression assists just come from shooting at somebody but not getting the killing shot a lot of the times. So there I get the counts as a kill and a suppression assist. If you're getting somewhere close to somebody you'll get suppression assist as well. And of course you can get suppression assist and save your bonuses in vehicles. The problem with this assignment is you can't go out and try to complete it it will just complete itself while you're doing other things. So in the assignments tab at the end of the round you can see your running total and it's basically just going to take as many rounds as it takes because suppression assists while they're not random you can't plan for them and it's the same with the saviour bonuses. You can't plan that an enemy is going to shoot one of your teammates not kill him but you're going to shoot the enemy and kill him. They've gone from hard assignments with tough challenges to assignments that just kind of wimpily complete themselves as you play. But I have to admit the Ballistic Shield doesn't deserve a tough assignment. It deserves some kind of wimpy giveaway here have a shield kind of assignment. As you can probably tell I did not enjoy this assignment and I do not enjoy the Ballistic Shield but we'll come to that later. All you can do is monitor your progress at the end of the rounds and they'll slowly fill up. The explosives is even more random because this relies on an enemy player putting explosives on the ground and then it relies on you finding them and you having something to destroy them with. Tank mines and slams are by far the easiest ones to find and destroy and there you can see I have one explosives destroyed. Here I'm on a pistols only server, unlocking what might be in the next video. And on the floor, somebody's left some convenient C4. So if I can get an angle on it, bang, destroyed three sticks of C4, unlock Vanguard. Hurrah! And that gets me the ballistic shield. Ooh. And if we look at the assignments tab at the end of the round, there you can see it's confirmed. Vanguard is unlocked and there's something else unlocked as well but that's coming later is the ballistic shield going onto the support kit and the ballistic shield is so dull there's nothing to see other than a black and white picture of a ballistic shield so as you may have guessed I am not impressed with the ballistic shield let me explain why here's a guy running straight at me I'm gonna clobber him with my shield hang on where'd he go oh yeah you can't see anything out of the ballistic shield if you move at anything more than a crouch, they can shoot your feet off. So you move at a crouch, which means you're incredibly slow. And yes, you can draw fire, you can help your team out, but everybody knows how to get past the ballistic shield. Boom, meet the engineer. Corridors and alleyways are of course the ideal place for a ballistic shield. You can even block doorways and corridors. One thing you can't stop is a tank shot and even if it's just close it will ruin your shield. The shield bash has been nerfed so now hit this guy 
and then he just dances around you as you try finding him through your little porthole. If the guy's in a corner, you can't hit him at all because your shield hits the walls. So hiding in a corner means you're safe from a shield bash. And now we see how support deals with shields. Next we come to the assault. Well, you've got to work out a crawl, so he can just throw a grenade at you and run away and then shoot you through the hole in your shield. The shield just isn't practical. You can't cover all the angles. If they're in a narrow corridor and they haven't got something that can go straight through the glass, then you might have a chance. More than one person, you're doomed. So this assignment is a bit of a pain to complete because of its random nature and the ballistic shield isn't that great. But let's recap on what you need if you do want to unlock the ballistic shield. You need to complete the Vanguard assignment. The requirements of that are that you must have reached rank 10, you must own the Dragon's Teeth DLC and you must have played on a Dragon's Teeth map and then that will open up the assignment. To complete the assignment you need 5 saviour kills, which are denoted by getting the saviour bonus, 20 suppression assists and destroy 3 explosives. When you've done all that you will unlock the ballistic shield and good luck to you because it's pretty awful. It's got some novelty value if you haven't used one before, but in a couple of weeks you're not going to see them. Anyway, that's the Ballistic Shield. Thanks for watching.